Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabriele Pisciotta, and I'm speaking to you today on behalf of my group to introduce you to our study about sock puppet detection in Telegram via network science. We are three master students at the University of Pisa, and together with Professor Rossetti, we developed this project as part of a social network analysis course. Online social networks are becoming more and more central in everyone's life, but their growing importance goes hand in hand with the danger they can conceal. One of the highest risks while dealing with people online in this environment is not being able to verify who you're talking to. And this leads, as you can imagine, to some serious problems. The difficulty in knowing who is behind a certain user promotes the creation of fake accounts that are exploited to carry out illicit behaviors. In literature, this particular issue is called the sock puppet problem, with sock puppet being fake accounts managed by the same person in real life. The consequences can be very dangerous, and this is why it's crucial to be able to identify them. Up to now, the state of the art for sock puppet detection is represented by supervised machine learning models, such as neural network and support vector machines that exploit the linguistic features extracted from the text of content, like the FIDF, with features like behavioral patterns of the users and specific OSN related features that, not being general, can't be exploited on other OSN. We decided to deal with this problem in a different way. Every OSN is originally a network. So why not use network science to unveil the sock puppets account? We investigated the possibility to build a network of interactions where interaction can assume a different meaning according to the OSN taken into account. These has the advantage of being generalizable to every OSN, and it can be exploited without involving the previously described features. So just by considering the topology of the OSN interactions. We choose to exploit Telegram, that is an instant messaging application where people can chat both in private and in public groups. It's an interesting OSN, that has not been analyzed so much in literature. And it has very peculiar features, like the fact that users can join without disclosing their real life information, making it different from OSN like Facebook. It is also known for being exploited by members of organized crime and terrorism. We scrape messages from 13 Italian public groups with academic topics. They are all linked by the fact that they are part of the same self-declared network of groups. In fact, they share a little percentage of users. The messages collected represent four years of chat and we were able to get them in a complete stealth way without even joining the groups. With these, we were able to build a directed weight interaction network where the interaction is represented by the reply action. We have 18,000 of nodes and 190,000 of edges where the source is who write a message and the target is the user whom it replies. We also have a weight that corresponds to the number of replies. We developed an unsupervised method that consists in four stages, data cleaning, feature extraction, similarity blocking, and candidate filtering. At the end of this process, we get all the groups of sock puppets. We started by normalizing the weights in a range between zero and one. Then we dropped all the links having the weight under a certain threshold, in our case, 0.5. Doing that, we kept only the relevant ones. After this phase, we extracted the neighbors of each user and we considered them as features. Doing so, we represented each user with the, with the interaction it had. At this point, we proceeded with the similarity blocking phase. In a naive way, 
we should compute the similarity matrix and take the most similar couple of nodes. However, the cost of this operation grows quadratically with the number of nodes, making it inefficient in a large network. To solve these scalability issues, we used the, the C-Mesh algorithm to reduce the number of comparisons, scaling linearly to the numbers of users. It works by extracting a fingerprint for each node, considering the fact that very similar nodes end up having almost the same hash, then creating an index that we can query for the extraction of the similar users in order to get the blocks of similar one. After that we extracted the blocks, we prune them by deleting each pair of nodes having a similarity score lower than a threshold, in our case 0.5. So we can state that we'll have a sock puppet link between node A and B if and only if their similarity is greater than theta. The methodology we applied has something in common with the ones applied in other tasks that are related to matching of semantically related entities that are apparently different. We can notice that treating the sock puppet detection problem in this way is somehow like identifying same as links between different nodes. According to the data source involved and the heterogeneity of the values, this problem can be seen as an instance of the data linking problem or instance matching or record linkage and so on. We can show you some preliminary results of our work in progress. We were able to detect some different accounts that belong to the same people, identifying both exact matches and one containing also false positives. Up to now, the main difficulty we are facing is that we are dealing with a limited ground truth due to the nature of the problem and the kind of data involved. As Fisher works, we are starting to extend our experiments to other dataset known in literature. Also, the candidate filtering step is a crucial phase in order to limit the false positive and it must be improved. We would also like to explore different kind of interaction for the same OSM. In the end, we are planning to combine different approaches, extending actual machine learning models by involving networks features and also to extend our method by involving linguistic feature in the network we analyze. Thank you for your attention.